there's a growing need for specialized LLMs. People from all walks of life want to use LLMs in their work. Professionals from areas like legal, finance, healthcare, insurance, and more areas want to use LLMs. Existing LLMs are trained to be general so that they can serve a wide range of use cases. The data used to train these models is obtained from internet containing data sources such as Wikipedia articles and newspaper articles. In contrast, we want our LLMs to do well in domains like medicine and law, where the data is highly specialized and often requires implicit domain knowledge. This one size fits all approach does not perform well in every specialized domain. Recently, several papers have shown that these generic LLMs still lag behind in performance when compared to specialized language models. And even if the biggest companies like Google, Anthropic, and OpenAI came out with their fancy API-based models and improved the performance in specialized domains, we might not benefit from it. This is because people cannot share their data with other organizations, as it might break privacy regulations and breach contracts. We can train specialized LLMs from scratch by using self-supervised learning objectives like next word prediction from data, which is obtained from specialized domain. And this works reasonably well when trained on lots of data. But this approach is both time consuming and resource inefficient. Instead, you could start from a pre-trained language model and continue adapting it with self-supervision. This again shares the same drawbacks as training the model from scratch. Instead, you can do instruction tuning or supervised learning with instructions. This is what many off-the-shelf models do. In this approach, we train the model with multiple instruction response pairs. These instructions could be something like, how would you rephrase that in a few words? Or on a scale of from one to uh, five, how would you rate this uh, review? So once you train the model on enough number of instructions, this training enables um, the model to generalize to new tasks. So at test time, you can ask new tasks that uh, the model has never seen before. Some people have taken this idea further and trained models with data from specialized domains. However, collecting instructions in specialized domains is very expensive. This is because instructions in specialized domains have to be annotated by subject matter experts. Climate GPT authors actually tried to use non-experts to create instructions from academic uh, research papers and technical reports. But they quickly found out that these annotators who are not experts struggled with these documents and ended up changing the data itself. So we have two possible choices, self-supervision and supervised learning. Both have their pros and cons. While self-supervision has low data cost, meaning we don't have to annotate data, it is computationally expensive and provides no explicit instructions. On the other hand, supervised learning approaches uh, like instruction tuning can create high quality models, but collecting training data is incredibly expensive in specialized domains. This begs the question, is there a middle ground here? Can we get uh, the best of these two approaches? 